Team Six Beatdown going down today. Captain Ron, back to the bait man. I'm stoked. Out here. We're launched. We're launched. We out here fishing with Captain Ron in the woods. In the, in the thicket. Gators in these woods, boys. This dude ain't moving. Yes. Oh yes. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Going out today with the man himself, Casey Sopsack, Six Sense Fishing. Team Six Getaway. The Team Six Bonanza. There we go, Casey. There we go, Casey. Oh god. Yes. Yes. Smoked oh, it. Got a runner. Digging. Dump him. Boat flip. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that's another tank right there. That's bigger than the last one. Good morning, day two. Choke Canyon, South Texas. Here in the Team Six getaway. I just woke up, everybody else is still asleep. I thought I'd show you guys this little cabin that they were nice enough to put me up in. Shout outs to Casey and the whole team over at Sixth Sense for setting us up with these awesome cabins. But we are about to get up and head out for day two out here on Choke. Fish with Captain Ron out on his boat with Baxter the Baitman yesterday. Had a blast, caught a couple fish. Ronnie hooked into a decent four pounder, but it was a tough day of fishing. What else is new? Fishing after this giant Arctic blast that we just had here in the States. And there are a lot, and I mean a lot, of stumps and trees on this lake. I'm looking forward to getting out there again today. Today is a special one because I'm actually going to be fishing with the owner of Six Cents Fishing, Mr. Casey Sobsack himself. So I'm extremely excited. I'm not gonna take up too much more of the video here inside the cabin. Just wanted to show you guys my little setup. I'm just hanging out, kicking it, enjoying me a nice cold Zevia to start the day. I'm about to head out into the boat and get some rods rigged up. We'll do a little tackle rigging, and then we'll get back out there on the water. Hopefully do better today than we did yesterday. I don't care about catching numbers. I just want one 10 pounder. So you guys wish me luck also. Make note of the new hats. They're available live and direct in full effect right now on theheaterzone.com. Multiple styles, multiple colors. Snapbacks, flex fit, trucker style, flat bill. We got something out there for everybody, so go check out theheaterzone.com. Score yourself a new heater's hat. But yeah, man, Choke Canyon, day two, going down, team six getaway. We're out here on this awesome excursion, man. I'm having so much fun out here with everybody. We had a blast hanging out last night, just kicking it around the campfire. It's a good vibe, good energy. Everybody gets along so well, and I'm extremely grateful to be a part of this amazing team of anglers. Can't wait to get today started. You best believe we're gonna be sharing the whole journey right here, right now, live and direct in full effect. Let's go get rigged up, see if we can catch us some fish today. As you can see, me and Beetlejuice made it down here safely. Still hooked up to the truck. Haven't even launched the boat. Don't think I'm gonna need to launch the boat. There's so many boats here. Speaking of the boats that are here, let's go ahead and take a look at some other ones that you may not have seen here on my channel. Something cool for you guys to see. We got some some awesome people here with us man team six throwing down let's go check out some other boats some of you guys might recognize this rig right here what about this dude huh this ain't no ringling brothers barnum and bailey stuff and let me tell you guys this boat is sick luke's new rig this thing is nice one thing you guys cannot tell the video does not do it justice this thing has so much room inside of it i mean you could play like a whole flag football game up there or half court basketball really big on the inside sick looking boat luke you crushed it with your rig man peanut butter and jealous sandwiches all day long thing is sick there goes a rabbit there's luke duncan's rig killer let's go check out this boat this boat right here this is a special one this is the boat that i will be fishing out of today this is Casey's boat. Ranger 520C. Very nice. Yeah. Got the six cents carpet decals. Ready to go. Really looking forward to getting out there with Casey. I just hope we get on some fish. Yesterday was a grind, but we still had a blast. So I can't complain. Stoked to be here. Let's go check out one more boat. This is the boat that I was out on yesterday. This is Captain Ron's boat. Skeeter ZX250. Really nice riding boat. Single console, but I enjoyed riding shotgun in this thing. Very nice, very nice to fish out of. 
hoping to get into something like this one day. I'm a little jealous of all these super nice boats that all these dudes have down here, but I'm grateful to have Beetlejuice, but stoked to be able to get out on some different boats, fish from a newer Skeeter, fish off a Ranger, try some things out. I would really love to get out on Luke's boat, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Either way, man, we're here. South Texas, Team Six Getaway. Just wanna show you guys some of the boats before we head out onto the water today. All right, we in the truck. We headed to the ramp, going out today with the man himself, Casey Sobsack, Six Sense Fishing. For those that don't know, this is my first time to get to fish with Justin officially, so I'm more jacked about that than anything. Likewise, man, most excited just to get out there with you on the boat. I'm having a blast down here in South Texas, man. Last night was awesome, yesterday was great. Hopefully we can do better today, but we're about to go hit it hard, me and the man. Thanks for having me out, brother. Hey, I appreciate man, it. thanks for coming. I'm, I'm Absolutely. so pumped up to fish. Me too, man. I've been trapped in the office for way too long. Yeah, Casey's ready to get out there on the water. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. We're gonna go get after it. We'll see you guys at the boat ramp. All right, we're here at the ramp. We just got launched. We got Luke Duncan. We got Casey Sobsack. Darian Craig headed down the ramp. Hopefully, we can go have a better day than we had yesterday. I'm just stoked to get out here with Casey. Fishing with this dude for the first time. Extremely excited. Tensions are high. Luke's over there doing his intro. Everybody just standing around talking to cameras. We don't talk to each other. We just talk to the cameras. I don't know if you guys knew that, but a couple professionals over there doing their thing. Taking notes. <laughs> Luke and Darian over there talking about how they're gonna compete against each other. I'm not a very competitive person. I just wanna get out here and fish with my boy Casey. I'm ready. We're ready. Let's go. Twenty minutes in, me and Casey still idling through the woods. A few boats back off in here though, so maybe there's some fish in these woods. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna start out throwing chatterbait. I got swim jig. Got a couple swim baits around. Let's see what happens. Yeah. It's thick off in here. I'm excited. I'm ready to get to fishing. We're both ready to get to fishing. I'm trying to keep from slamming into one of these trees. Ron, he don't even care. He just drive right over the trees. No big deal. Didn't face him a bit. Four by four all day yesterday with Captain Ron. Team six getaway. The team six bonanza. Six cents throwdown in full effect, man. Bringing you guys along for the ride. So blessed and grateful to be out here on this boat. In the middle of all these trees. The camera does not do this justice. You guys can't even tell. It's so thick. We're gonna find them, I can feel it. Yeah, we late to the party. So you were doing a lot of tournament fishing in college, is that right? Mm -hmm. There we go. Smash it. Running, look how hard he's running. There we go, Casey. There we go, Casey. Come on, brother. As big as I thought. It's a nice fish. I'll take that. Yes, sir. Had a baby. There we go. Little move. The little adjustment. Chatterbait with the Devon swim bait trailer. And that right there is an easy tank. On the tree? Yeah, right there on the other side. I cast it there twice. Second cast, he smoked it. Yes. I'll take that. What I'm talking about right in the roof of the eater, and this one wanted it. I mean, freight train, dude. Sweet. Fat girls in boxes. That's my favorite kind, dude. Way to mojo, way to feel the energy and 
just pull up to the spot like you could feel it dude you just sense that mojo like we're gonna stop right here boom boil boom fish come on get more let's do this here's a look at the bait that i caught that fish on cast it to that tree twice just a little z-man chatter bait with the uh devon swim bait ghost ice minnow is the color on that trailer and he cracked off on it oh god yes yes casey's hooked up there we go there Dude, we we're, go we're bro. on them now we're on them now that didn't take that's, long that's three, that's three bites, bites in right like here 10 minutes if we, we fish the whole day without a bite yeah we would not a fish yeah we've been struggling today guys and then we just decided to make a move and boom there's three bites who fish Dude, that one was just Let's right go. here like out in the, the open drop. no he's on the drop right on the drop we can drop back and he's sitting on the shelf if we don't get bit going back this way i think we should go back and work that point where all those trees are really good smoked it got a runner Look at him. Look at him running. Look at him running, dude. Boat flip. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Boy, that's another tank right there. That's bigger than the last one. Yes, sir. We'll take that all day, won't we, boss? Yeah. On him. On him. And not only that, but we're on the nice ones. That's two fat ones for our box. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, look at that. That's another one. That's another four easy... Just up there against that stuff? Dude, I'm doing exactly what you're doing. Oh, he was under that grass mat right there. Okay. He came out from under that. As soon as I rolled by that, he chased it out, smoked it. This fish is stuck too. Dude, there it is. I'll take that all day long. Dude, it took us a minute. And we had to work to find us a couple nice ones. But me and Casey out here finally tracking them down, getting bit consistently. I'm going to put this fish in the box and get back after it, man. Thanks for joining us out here on the water today. Team 6 still going. Yeah, I think we, uh, we'll just go until we maybe run out of bites or feel like it's no good anymore and then just double back and really hit it. But yeah, that one came out right under one of these grass mats, chased it out, and then hit it like kind of like you said, almost seemed like she might have been suspended. Yeah. Right on that edge, came up and just freaking wonder warped it. That feels good. <sighs> That'll wake you up. Couple, couple fights for lunch. Hey, we're back up in four foot of water now. Should we try to back out to the edge, um, or just keep working right here? You wouldn't expect me to really boat flip that last one, would you? Uh -uh. <laughs> you said it. I was like, all right then. Man, I didn't know it was that big. It's on. I think it's this stuff right here that they're drawn to, man. It might be because at one point in time it was live where they could live. It was just live. Oh. That, it was just live. It. Yes, that's what Ronnie was telling me yesterday. He's like, dude, this stuff was bright green three days ago. Mm -hmm. I, I think that might be what it is, man. Cause that's one thing I noticed about that spot that we were just fishing that's different, you know? It's like really close to those clumps of that. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about some of it's probably still submerged over there. I think we at least try to hit it again and see what happens. All right, midday, me and Casey still grinding. It's been a struggle for most of the day up until really recently. You guys just saw those last few catches. That feels good. A little bit of hard work paying off right there. We're gonna double back, hit that spot again really good. We think we found a nice transition next to some clumped up dead grass that was recently alive. And they're sitting right on this ledge, suspended or pushed up into the grass clumps. So we're gonna go double back, hit it again. See if we can pick off a few more. And we'll go from there. We're good. Do the bar? No. Hazards of the job there. A little hook in you every once in a while. Keep you on your toes. Oh. Just had one knock slack in my line. Didn't even feel it. My line just went slack in the middle of a straight retrieve. That was something. That was something alive right there. 
sorry, dude. No, that's my bad, dude. I was. I looked back and I. And I yeah, it was this that it was that split second moment where we crossed <laughs> the cross pass. And, yeah. Yes. They are fired up, aren't they? Casey just got number two, number four on the day. All coming off this similar type of stuff. Well, forgot to kick the camera on, but Casey just smashed our third decent fish of the day. That's number five. Number three going in the box. They're there. Like that's that's three bites, two fish. <laughs> no, just fish it, dude. Just Don't. break it off. What did you what are you throwing? My my only good my the chatterbait I've been catching oh, them on. I thought it was a flush. Yeah, that was weird, dude. He had just had him bogged down. He went straight for that hydrilla, and there's just a wall of it that ledge. Ooh, man, that flush looks good on the back of that chatterbait. Oh, you done. Another one. Yes, yes, oh. we got this one on camera. All right, another decent little keeper fish. I'll show the bait. So that's a six cents bait. It's a flush on the back. Boy. But watch the action in the water of the tail. That's where it's at right there. Like it just quivers the whole time. She's putting out them signals, man. All right, let's catch another one. Next cast. Let's, get, let's do it. We, I got my chatterbait in a stump over there. We I'm, don't I'm, care. I'm okay, though. <laughs> yeah, Casey's, Casey's doing just fine with it. <laughs> They're here, dude. They're loaded up on this little bend. Like they are inside this grass edge. Oh, we're gonna go get your bait. I'm just gonna go to the deep water and come and around. Come around. And yes, finally getting on a semi-consistent bite. Feels good. Yeah, they're they're in between this hydrilla ledge and that stick ups. That's where the bites come. So it's a sandy spot where they're warming themselves. That's what I think. Okay. That's what I think in theory, because they got the deep water, they got the spawning flat, and then they're just right here, which is how they get on Rayburn. They get in between like the hay grass and the inside hydrilla edge. Yeah, I love being out with somebody like you who's been doing this for a long time from a bass boat and at a competitive level at times. That way I can learn stuff like that. And I'm all about just trying to get better. And uh, it's always good to hear stuff like that because, well, you know, I'm only a couple years deep fishing from a bass boat. Dude, I might have to hook a flush up onto this one. It looks so good. Just the way we like it. This fish ate it good too, you know. Yeah, so that's a that's my sign to throw a flush on, huh? Follow the signs, listen to the energy. Sweet. I'm rigging up a flush on the back of this chatterbait here. Show you guys what's up. Flush is a killer chatterbait trailer, as you guys saw from that footage there a minute ago. I'm normally throwing it weightless, but it's always good to utilize a bait in a new way. And I think this right here is a killer option. For the flush look at that straight deadly awesome let's go i just had one come up out of that grass and hit it i think that did not feel like cover spooked me got scared there he is yes. Fish are mad. Got him, baby. I don't, even, I don't even know if that's big enough to put in the box, but another chunk. He, he came up and spit at it on that first cast. I knew he was down there. Yeah, they're over there in between that drop off in these trees. Another little chunk on the day. Later, dude. Oh, I should have. Whatever. He gone. Let me get the boat back out from on top of the fish. See if we can catch another one. You are not wrong, Casey. They are right here. They just moved to the left just a little bit. There's a big patch of grass over there. I think that's what's going on. <laughs> it doesn't get any worse than that, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that chatterbait's probably gone, huh? Say so that one's probably in the tree. Oh, nice. I, I just felt it was like this is my moment. I just just get it back. Not ideal, but could have been worse. Dude, that thing fell on the boat, right? I know I saw that thing fall on the boat. Oh, right here. Okay. 
I was about to say, am I crazy? Fishing with the owner of Six Cents Fishing. That's going to be the title of the video. Oh, Dingus McChingus over here. Doesn't know how to fish. Oh, did you see him? Yeah. Chasing it, bro. Chased it all the way right up here to this mat. Chased it. Saw her mouth flash, bro. Yeah, chased it. Chased it all the way up to the surface and then turned around on me. And I'm telling you, she chased it all the way out here. And I was reeling up. I mean, I was reeling up. I was done. Oh. Wait, wait. Oh my god, bro. There's a fish down there though. <laughs> she she nibbled it twice. Or I might have I might have felt her spitting it out actually. Who knows? A little prawn John Silver action or Pronica Lewinsky as the homie Ben Milliken would say. <laughs> or I guess I don't know if Zark came up with that or Ben. One of them. Yeah. Man, now I'm, now that I'm thinking about it though, the way she was running behind it, man, maybe she wanted it moving. Because I was just burning it back up. Done, you know, sort of done with my cast, you know. Yeah, I did too. The way she was coming for it, man, she was, she was right on it. And then as soon as it got to the surface, she just darted. But Chatterbay is what's putting fish in the boat. So yeah, I'm, temp I'm tempted to switch back. We just need that 10, 12. Casey wouldn't even flinch out of 10. Zach's after a 16.5. Casey's after a 13. I'd take a 10. 13 yeah. sound crazy though. I, I mean, I, I fought in a nine and thought he was going to pull me in the water. So what the hell is a 13 going to do? Yeah, I got to learn the pan optics, man. I got I to learn that. I'd be set. I'm just missing out on those two feet. The boat doesn't matter. Your trolling motor matters. Your trailer matters to travel. I just want a new boat, a newer boat in general. Dump them. Catching some heads. A couple choke heads right there. Uh -oh. Cheers, brother. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Let's let them go. You ready? Here they go. Pink curl number one. It's cold. That water temp's 51 degrees. Yep. They're moving slow, but they are alive and well. Off they go. Nice, hey, dude! Way to get it done, man. Way to grind them out today, man. Yeah, yeah we we uh we started out slow, but once we found this little cut, it seemed like this was the only spot where we could find fish, and they were stacked up in a couple spots along with some decent ones there that you guys just saw. I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, I want to thank Casey for having me out on his boat. Thank you for putting me on fish all day. You're welcome. Working hard to put us on. I'm not gonna thank you for catching those two fives. It's all good, man. I'll uh, you you just have to forgive me. Yeah. But man, I had a blast well, guys, with you. The, yeah, this is the first time I've got to, to meet Justin in person. I know you'll watch his channel, but about as down to earth as they come. So I'm thankful to have this guy part of the team. Um, and there's much more to come. Man, thank you so much. I appreciate you saying that. Likewise, I had a blast hanging out with you. Good vibes only. It's a great to get out here and fish with you finally, brother. It means a lot, dude. Absolutely. Looking dude. forward to the next one. Thanks for everything. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thank you and as thank well. Thank you guys. Yeah, for thank watching. all of you so much for hanging out with us out here on the water today. I'll see you back on dry land. All right, guys, that is going to do it. Back to the bait, man. It was so good hanging out with you, fishing dude, with you, getting to know you in I person. I learned about some baits, too. I absolutely did learn a little bit about some baits hanging out with the bait, man. I'm doing the same thing. You're doing the little outro section. Doing the outro. It won't be near as good as yours. Come on now, bro. I learned everything I know from you. <laughs> so, anyway, we're about to wrap this trip up here at choke first day was a little tough we got on a few fish ronnie caught the nicest one no surprise there dude is a hammer shout outs to captain ron ronnie kelly and uh yeah man it's just been uh it's been an awesome couple days had a great day of fishing today with casey you guys saw that but i hope you guys enjoyed this choke canyon get down little south texas new water fishing with some different people on some different boats in a place i've never been before you guys ask all the time when are you going to fish some different lakes well now you know and uh i hope you enjoyed it i sure did i had a blast out here i cannot wait to do it again thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna get the truck loaded up get back on the road i appreciate you all for taking time out of your day to watch my video best believe it means the world to me but that's about all i got for you today that about does it that about wraps her on up so i'm gonna say goodbye for now and i'll see you on the next one
All right, what's up guys? We're back in the truck now, back on the road again. At the end of the last video, you saw me wrap up the trip from Choke Canyon. Well, good news, the trip isn't over yet. We are headed to a different lake. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know what lake I'm talking about. Here she comes, get ready, get ready, get ready. Yeah. Right. That's the size of a five inch bull shad right there. I got a pound right here. For All right then. Oh, and they're moving oh, too, man. and they're moving too. That's good. I got one following my rig right now. There we go. Yep. Yes. Man. Yes. Oh no, that. What is that? Dump them? Choke mission. I'm gonna get it on camera. Hang on. 